you guys out. I'm alongside with my beautiful co-host and our guest, Will K. Woo! Big facts. Meet Will K. He's an actor, a writer, a producer, and best known as Miss Burke. Okay. Will K, how are you doing today? I'm doing marvelous today. How are you doing? Good. Tell us about yourself. Um, well, as you mentioned, I'm an actor, writer, and producer. Pretty much, you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook at The Will K Show. Um, I'm best known for my character, Miss Burt. That, that is my biggest character on the show. She is everybody's favorite Southern Granny. Uh, you done, done seen Big Mama, you seen uh, Medea, you seen all of those people, but there's nothing quite like Miss Burt. She's the snuff dipping. Full on, always in church, always on the phone, gossiping and suddenly great. That's the great that pinch you. <laughs> she you have a night though, but she gonna pinch you. But hit you with a cross one. You better sit down. Right. You better sit down. So what age did you start doing comedian? Um, I started doing comedy and like it's really not I never really classify myself as a comedian. Yeah. That wasn't until yeah. I created my TikTok and Instagram. Um, because, you know, a lot of people like to put you in categories because it works for them. Yeah. It helps for them to identify you better. But for me, I don't like to per se, I'm a comedian because I tap into so many other different things. I also like, as you mentioned, to write. Mm -hmm. I also like to direct. I also like to produce. Um, there's so many things that I like to do. When it comes to comedy, I'm just naturally funny. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just me. You know, I say some of the craziest stuff. People think I be joking, but I just be for real. They just laugh. They just don't catch it. Well, if you're, not a, if you're not a comedian, who's your favorite comedian then? Who's my favorite comedian? Yeah. Um, God bless him, but Bernie Mac was my the ultimate best. favorite comedian of all time. Like, I can sit there and look at Bernie Mac all day long. Like, that's my favorite. Bernie Mac was a good one. So, what's your favorite Bernie Mac uh, character? Um, actually, it would come to his uh, sitcoms. His, his, his sitcoms is great. Um, I loved him in the movie Life. But as far as like my ultimate favorite of him was when he did his stand up on the Kings of Comedy when he was talking about getting his sister's kids. Okay. I thought that was the absolute most funniest thing ever. And then behind Bernie Mac will probably be Ricky Smiley. Yeah, Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley. Smiley. Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley is like, that's, that's my second one. Like, Ricky Smiley. Yeah. I want to make the uh, easy go. <laughs> yeah, because they kind of like, they remind me of home. When I'm, when I'm looking at them, they kind of remind me of myself. The authentic rawness of Bernie is kind of me, but that homey, touchy stuff is kind of like Ricky. It's that southern style that he got. That's what kind of reminds me of like, how it connects me on. So I know that you all about perfection with your skits and stuff like that. So who gives you the inspiration for your skits? Um, my family. So when it comes to me introducing the world, because when you see Miss Bird on screen or you see me doing my um, motivational speeches, whether you see Matika, whatever you see me doing, I'm a, you're right, I'm about perfection because my name is attached to it. And what I always tell people, essentially you're introducing yourself to the world. And that first introduction is a lasting impression. Yeah. So for me, any time that I get on the camera, I always feel like I'm reintroducing myself every single time. That way you never get too comfortable. You don't get to the point where, okay, um, I'm going to show up 45 minutes late. Or I'm just going to do this little TikTok dance and I'm just giving it to them and that all last into tomorrow. Whenever I do anything on the Weird Case Show or whether I'm working with anyone else, I always give it 120%. And I always act as if I'm introducing myself for the first time. Because you never know who's watching. You never know who's seeing you. And then some people like watching, they may see you for comedy. For example, I know you do flips. But even if you doing the flips, and, and that inspires people. So you never know what, what you're doing may move somebody. So you want to always be putting your best foot forward and always be introducing yourself. Now, does that mean everybody's going to be excited? No. But it does mean that you want to give it your best. Even when you don't feel your best, give it your best because you never know who's watching you. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Why do you say that? Because it do matter who's watching. It matters. Yes. Because there's a lot of people that are always watching. So even like for myself, I even try to tell myself the same thing. Right, and for me, it's like it's not all about celebrity people who are watching. Yeah. Um, you connect with your audience because you remind them of yourself. Right. It's just like you remind them of themselves. You, that's how it is. 
You connect with your audience because your audience member, when you when they're watching you, you remind them of that stuff. It's something they can connect with them. Like when I say when I watch Ricky Smiley, I can connect with him. So when you say people are watching, it's not always comedy or big time names, it's everyday people. Cause ultimately what I like to do, I just like to give people a laugh. Mm -hmm. I don't really care about the fame or what comes behind Instagram and TikTok. I don't get wrapped up on followers. As long as I can look at the comments and see one or two people laugh, I don't care if it's two. Yeah. I'm good with it. If you could do a video with somebody, who would you do one with? Hmm. That's a good question. It's a lot of talent. Are we talking about just creators? Are we talking about movies now? Are we talking about, because you know, to me it's separate. Anything. Okay. Like, just anything. Anything. The one person. Well, one, I already got my main one that I really want to do a video with, which was Mr. Crying So Bad. <laughs> I absolutely love and adore him. He is the he absolute, is awesome. he is the absolute best. Like, I really love him. And what's crazy is I kind of manifested that I wanted to work with him. Lord and behold, he landed, like, it, it happened overnight. Yeah. The next day, he sent me up. So, now that I have worked with him, my next one that I would like to work with is probably Anita Lachey. She used to, she used to like to. I that love Anita Lachey. That girl is crazy. Make like, sure Brittany is involved. Yes, Brittany. Make sure y'all bring Brittany. Please bring Brittany. Let Brittany be so first. Yes. So, when you say he fell into you, like, you know, how, explain that. Um, well, last year, um, I kind of slowed down on posting okay. because even like I said, you, you become a content creator and people like kind of like put you up on this imaginary pedestal and give you this rule book of things you're supposed to do and not do. Oh, you got to post every 10 minutes every, 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 or, or people going to forget about you. You got to always be posting. You got to always do this. You got to always do that. Me, I don't really, I, I really don't. I, I just don't. Because even though you're doing that, you're also trying to balance life at the same time, and that can become overwhelming. So for me, last year, I stopped posting. I kind of hit a space. I had a lot of stuff going on, and I was just like, I got I to put this on hold for a minute. That's why Miss Bird kind of slowed down. People was like, where Miss Bird at? We ain't seen the world can't show. Where is he? While I was going through what I was dealing with, um, a friend of mine sent Mr. Christ of that video to me. And I'm sitting there and I'm just dying, like dying and laughing at this video. This is when I first saw him doing the 600 pound live. I'm just sitting there screaming. So as I'm watching the video, I said, I said to her, I was like, I really want to work with him one day. Like, I really, really, really want to work with him. Like, and she was like, and I really want to meet him. Lord and behold, a couple of weeks later, she came up to my house. And she hardly ever comes to my house because she's in South Georgia. But she was like, we got to get you out of this mode. We got to get Miss Bird. We got to do a Miss Bird today. She's like, I can't let you just lay here another day. We got to put a Miss Bird out. So we worked together. We recorded the Bird. She helped me set my setup and everything. She even jumped in. That's when I came back and did the live. She even jumped in on it. And we got it out on all the platforms. Mm -hmm. Soon as we get the videos posted, I see Mr. Crying so bad go live. I click his live, you know, just to check in and see what he's doing. And he says, the wheel can't show. I'm in the lab. We got to get together. Next thing you know, we sitting down eating. We at Publix. We laughing. We having a great time. And I say manifested because I got a chance to work with him. The girl who hardly ever comes to my house, who also said at the same time, I really want to meet him. Now she's sitting down at the same table with him. And we all sitting there and just enjoying each other's good company. You said manifest, so I'm sure that you'll believe it. So it's always important to keep God first and things that happen. Always. Always, 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 always. He walks in the room before I do. Yes. <laughs> Child, God, right. he got to walk in there how you are. Because he walks in like you are. He walks in before I do. Because you know, y'all know I can be a lot sometimes. Yeah. Right? Lord clears the room before I step in the room. You hear me? I'm coming through. I'm coming through. He's already in there. I'm just a visual yeah. representation. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the visual representation that he's in there. Okay. But he already in the room. He get here before I do. Yes. But then once I get here, you be like, oh, the Lord here now. I might make the pull you by out of there. Oh, what we're not going to do is that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Who, had the, who has had the most impact on your life? Um, not just as, you know, your characters and the things you've done, but as Will, as Will K. Who's had the most impact on Will K's life? Uh, it's so many people who don't pour it into me that I cannot even narrow it down. Mm -hmm. Because 
every stage in life you pick up, you, you meet people. Yeah. People are always pointing to you. You meet people. Like you, for example, I met you through, through, through this. Even in this hour exchange, the hours exchanges, we poured into each other. So you right. can never say exactly who has the greatest impact. Because I appreciate everybody. Everybody done taught me something. I'm always looking for a lesson in every person I greet. I'm not really a people person. That's what a lot of people don't know. I love people, but I don't like them. He lying, yeah, but <laughs> I, really, I love people, but I don't like them. I really like that is so funny because I always see you as like this, you know, this is this side of person and all the content and stuff that you put out. Exactly. Yeah. But see, that's a perception. Yeah. Because, because that's you don't the take Capricorn. The Capricorn. That's, the, that's the Capricorn. It really is. We like you, but. but that discernment, <laughs> that discernment be eating me up. Right. <laughs> I can't stay in here too long. People be like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you, you, you what's wrong with me? But I can't tell you that because then we're going to be fighting. Yeah. And I don't fight. He so it's like, you know, like, people see me. Because people see you on TikTok and Instagram, but that's why I say, um, you had, we, um, I watched one of your shows previously when you had a guest that was talking about bullying. Yeah. People forget when they're watching you on the screen, you are an actual person. They drop that filter and they say some of the most nastiest and negative things. And for a second, that's, that's also contributed to me stopping. I'm like, the first thing I log on is see, oh, we got another man in the wig. We got another man in the dress. We sip it is. Y'all need to die. Y'all need to do this, that, and the third. That type of stuff contributes to, to, to a person. You forget that it's an actual person behind the screen. Somebody's reading these comments. Somebody sees this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So when you're watching this on TikTok or Instagram or whatever you see people on, people forget they get a perception of what you are. Not only Miss Bird, you know, plays a good role in my life. I love Matika. I think I like Matika more than I like Miss Bird because I love that ghetto sensation because I'm from the hood. Like, she out the shine. So can you explain the differences to the viewers of, you know, what a lot of people I think don't know is Matika is actually me in real life. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's your personality in real life. Probably in my earlier stages. <laughs> but I don't took some of my earlier stages and mix it with some of my like stuff now because I got a plan for Matika. Huh. Even though people see that it's the wretched and the yeah. and stuff like that, I have a plan for her. She and when this plan comes together, people are gonna be like, oh, because her plan is, is gonna really be my story. So Matika is that is that girl that's like it's kind of like inside of you that stuff when you want to say something, but you're like I can't say that. You can't, but Matika can. <laughs> say what you need to say, and don't get it out. Yeah. When you walk into the room, I don't care how you're looking, cause you see what Matika have on. She don't really be care, but you can't yeah. tell her really? that yeah. she ain't the baddest thing she in, her, she in the room. She reminds me of Byron's baby mama on the deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But well, she is legit. She's legit about six three. You know, <laughs> she's legit me. You see, because when I was growing up, that's how it was. Like people don't know that. Like I used to air room, right? Yeah. Like y'all back in the day. Y'all playing no games. Thank you, Lord, for when you don't <laughs> brought me to now. But back in the day, the wrong thing we said. Oh, baby, all this furniture be moved up in here. Not we'll be gone real quick. <laughs> I'll be in jail. I never forget. I went to jail one time. I called my, called my granddad, and I was like. I was like, y'all call my granddad and tell him to come get me. They don't call my granddad and my granddad said it's like and call him back. Mm. Hung up. Wow. Then he yeah. still money. Well, you know, that's how the old, older generation, you know, this light is throwing the rain. You yeah. sit down and be quiet, cut off the lights, TV, you but not even breathe. I'll plug everything. Right. Everything. I remember those nights so vividly. But with all that being said, um, can you share with us about any new upcoming events or um, projects that you may be working on? Mmm, spill something. Spill something. Just a little spill. Okay, y'all ready? Yeah. Expect greatness. <laughs> that's, that's huge. That, that's, that's his times for itself. Expect that I ain't greatness. That's what he's giving, that's what we take. That's he said expect greatness. That's it, expect greatness. And that's what we can expect, because okay. we're expecting greatness. I can't, because I can't, I can't tell you, can't tell you everybody, because everybody's so going to be, we got to pray. I'm not going to allow you to spill it then. We ain't going to be in the Okay. I just want a little sugar in my <laughs> well, he, he gave it to us when he said Are you said little shit in your coffee? Okay. Miss Bird, blue check marks. 
Nothing for real, for real. But, like, I've been a star all my life. All right. Well, speaking of, I mean, it's validation, you know. Yeah. But like I said, we live in a world of like people have to have you know, the category. Yeah. You gotta have a blue check mark in order to mean something to somebody. But for me, I don't even call them my fans, my supporters, Miss Bert Grand Youngins. Like that's enough for me. Like. The more it grows, the better, of course, because I just enjoy interacting. I just enjoy bringing people those labs. But a blue chip bar don't mean a thing to me. I love when people say supporters versus fans. I right. feel like fans like degrade us sometimes. So I, I love supporters. So oh, I'm yeah, definitely like, supporters. Supporters. I like to call them the grand yeah. That's a grand base. All right, the grand Well, we got one last question with Mr. Will K. When can we, speaking of, meet Miss Burke? See, I have to, you know. Call and tell them that you want to meet them. Well, you should write a book for that because she don't think she got a cell phone. She got a cell phone. You got to call the house phone. Yeah, she got a cell phone. And she don't have the same number since 52. Oh, so you got to call her house phone. And kill it. So you got to call her house phone. And Ms. Burton come through. Okay. Yeah. Or write now. She at home. 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 She gonna call Irene and talk about us. This is it. Me. Well, it's been a pleasure here this evening. Yeah. So we're gonna stop on my question. Do you uh do you see yourself in like television, movies, or like any comic comedian like stands? I do. Um, I always said that I was gonna be on TV. I always said that I was going to. I always said the world is gonna know my name, and I'm gonna be. It's gonna be a very unique name. It's gonna be. Even that name, Will K, people don't know that's a rebrand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, my real name is William Lewis, but I rebranded Will K, and I started that at like 18. And to the point where my grandma, you know, your grandma, when she don't name me, she call you whatever it is. Mm -hmm. They, what are you, Tweety Bird, which is just my family nickname. Tweety Bird, uh, they call you Lucy. Whatever name they don't gave you, that's it. I'm to the point, my grandma, when she calls me now, Will K, what you doing? That name would be a name that is going to touch a lot of people. It has already crossed into a lot of doors. It has already been manifested onto a lot of paperwork with nothing but greatness behind it. It done been signed, sealed, and written down on a whole bunch of different bank accounts, amen. Bunch of different properties, hello. Bunch of different projects, hello. It's just already there. So I, I see it. I said 2022. I was gonna be on TV. I'm on, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the next talk show. So. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. I didn't lie. So I'm on the next talk show. That's the manifestation we're talking about. But we'd like to thank you for coming this evening, Mr. Will K. You guys are welcome. We this time with you yes. on the Let's Talk Show.